chasing, and we're chasing, and we're chasing, and we sing this song every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday. It's on the radio, your mama plays it, it's your dad's favorite song, and still we're chasing, and we're chasing, and we're chasing. It's something that goes off that says, wait a minute, that hit me. Wait a minute, that hit me right where I am. That hit me immediately. There are a ton of songs that play on the radio and somebody's church wants to sing it. As a musician, naturally, that can be irritating. Yep. Hello? My musicians yep. out there? Yep. How many times have you played Chasing? But for some reason, you lost count. But for some reason, there's always something else that we didn't get out of it the last time we played it. There's always something else that we didn't get the last time we listened to it. And something hits you. And you don't even expect it. Why? Because you're seeking and you're chasing and you're putting the words into action. So go ahead and find your seats, people of God, because we have more good stuff coming to us tonight. We have a lot more stuff coming to us tonight. But I want you to hold on to the fact that you're not crazy. We talked about yesterday secluding yourself and taking time, prioritizing to say, this is God's time. And letting no one, no thing interrupt that. Does that mean you try to make up God time when you're supposed to be sweeping the floor? No. No. I was a child before. I know all the tricks. It's fine. I still try to use them as an adult. It don't work. It just don't. But that means when it's God's time, you spend time with God. You put forth the effort. You actually try. And he'll meet you. I don't know what he'll say to you. That's not my business. But he'll meet you if you seek him earnestly. Amen? So come on and clap your hands as we move on and transition. 